Vera, hidden depths. Running water. Text alert, running water. Text alert, hi yeah. Running water, Luke, lower. What are you doing, Luke? Drops key. Luke, son, Luke, Luke. Luke, water stop, son, stops. Luke, darling. Luke, Vera, season, episode one, hidden depths. Mama rings, girls cry. Ah, oh, come on, two minutes of your life. He doesn't deserve this, you know. No one does. You never met him. No, you're right. I don't, I don't know who else to ask. Yeah, come here, come here. Give us, just give us. Hurry away then. Thanks, love. Should we say a prayer then or what? Oh, sorry, ship's horn. You're not coming then. What? No? I just come on. You're all right. Yeah, I just hear. Yeah, drink up tears. Glad it's over. Earn churches. Well, why this place? Mobile rings. Dad's always liked a full breakfast. Hello, Chief Inspector Virus, Virus Dam. Hope. Man, Vera? Time of death. Midnight. Give or take a guard. And again, sneeze it. Oh, thanks, love. You're welcome. Why don't I find the bugger who gave me this cold? Sneezes. Oops. Forgive me. Upon me. Well, there's one mystery cleared up. Say hello to your wife and kids for me, Billy. How old is Jack now? His name is Raymond. So we ruled out with suicide, evidently. Thin admiration round the neck. Strangled. A while on that. Or not what? Skin's not broken. So unlikely. Some kind of thin rope, I imagine. So not drowned. No death was... No, death was moments before the body entered the water, speculating somewhere around her house. Then carted in here and dropped in a park tub. Not dropped, place, precision. Those flowers, shop ball? Oh no, wildflowers must be. Meadow flowers, we need an expert. Okay, nice looking. Luke Armstrong, 15, 15 last June, April. They must look younger, don't they, after? Okay. Hmm, home loan, the lad, no. Laura, kid sister. She was here, right? There. She was in there, right? Entry, or oh, killer. Kitchen window open, apparently. Oh, that was you. That was usual, was it? Leaving the window open? Well, her daughter's asthmatic. Vera, so the killer comes through the window. Prince, partial footwear impression. Must be some kind of walking shoe, huh? Uh, looks like it. What about the girl? She must have heard something. Sparked out, apparently. Asleep. And do we, and we believe that? Teenagers believe anything. Could, could, could do nicely for publicity. I have a word. And mum? Where's mum? I, sh- I should phone her to the school, should I? Is that what you do? It's all taken care of, right? Mind you go, tell you go there. I know he was down on the dumps lately, but Julie, your son didn't take his own life. Please ready, okay? Ready to move the body? Alright, come on. Let's take ourselves off a bit. Come on, pet. I got home. Must have been 11.30. Bus or taxi? Yeah. It's a bus. Gary, he works for the sound desk at the Sage. You're fellow? Aye. Why don't you hit a good back and help out after the show? So he left us in a taxi rank, a quayside. Bit short, to tell the truth. Didn't want to seem like it. I was begging for a handout. So I waited until he was looking out then. I was looking then. All right. I got the bus instead. Aye. Anything catch your eye? Face, cars, faces, a jeep kind of thing at the bottom of the street. Jeep? Huh? You mean Land Rover? Aye, that's it. Colour? Colour green, brown maybe. If I'm, if I'm drunk a bit less, kept a clear head. Then maybe you said Luke had a bit of, been down, a bit down lately. Aye, well, he's Luke's very, was very, he was very sensitive. I know he was always saying, that you didn't, didn't we? I knew he would say that, don't we? But he was. Why not? Why not? Why now in particular? Well, he's a friend, Tommy drowned in summer. A loop, poor lad, saw it happen. Loop, Tommy shot, I. I kept telling him, son, not your fault. Do you think? If I just wait for that taxi, no, don't do that. 20 quid for the quayside to blive. It's not, it's not even that I don't deserve kids, I don't. Oh, so, so, my beautiful boy, I'm sorry. Oh, God, what happens now? You try to get get some rest. If you remember anything at all, you got my number, I. What are you doing there? Gary, I'm so sorry. Hiya, boy, mum, 
laughs. Oh, how are you? All right. Do you have a good day? Good. It was good. Do you have, have it? Did you get on well? I don't know. No, you've not decided yet. No, it must be James' mum. Hi. Yeah, Felicity. How is it? How are you? How are you doing? I'm Lily Marsh. Right. I'm James' new teacher. About the beach hut. What about it? Uh, did you tell? Did he tell you? Didn't he? What's that, James? I don't believe you. I, I don't believe you. I'm sorry. We just we just we were talking in class about where he, we all lived, and I happened to mention I've been between gigs. James here pipes up and says, "You were you were after a tenant last, you cheeky monkey. You know, I don't know. Hey, not after a tenant then. Well, we talked about it. I suppose that you know, but I am so sorry. I should have called direct. If I run." I might still catch that bus. No, no, listen, I expect you, we can fit you in a busy schedule. Can't we, really? Oh, Jamie. Come on, Felicity, open up. Jamie, the key's under the mat. Here, on the head. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, it's very nice. Peaceful, you know. A lot of privacy, if that's what you're after. So, there's the sitting area, shower, fridge, all more cons. Thank you. You're very kind. Let me like, in like this. You're welcome. Oh, beautiful flowers. Sniffs, hmm. Always love roses, don't you? Mm hmm. Are they roses shine? Holly. What, what are they? Short book or what? Gathered by hand, according to forensics. Forensics. But I spoke to Bonnet's a uni an hour ago. He tried up and for the rest of the day, but I described him on the, over the phone. He said they were wildflowers found in every ditch in Northumberland. Basically, yeah. Food for 15 year old. He was targeted. Why? Anything at all? He said, she, she said, Luke had learning differences. Got behavioral reports going back a year or two. Okay, he was bored. A bit lost. Wrong postcode for Lex Lexica. Dad's in his grave. Mum's hanging off those hinges. Worships the bones of him. And if someone climbs in the window, strangles her lad with a length of cloth rope and places him in a warm tub like some punsy insulation, baractic. Then he is his classmate. Tommy was sharp. Dave's dead. Oh, look, it's a wake up. It woke up. Now I tell him, Joe. Tommy drowned four months back while playing while victim by the sea. Calling victim verdict misadventure. Now, no no blame was attached to Luke. They were, they were classmates, best friends, apparently. Called him one one night witness. I went one night witness. Well, one night witness. They are playing peacefully. Tommy got carried out by the current. Luke went after him. You're lucky not to drown yourself. Charlie, blag a copy of the coroner's report. We'll do. Then comes the meal royal. Same place as Tommy drowned Joe. Flowers and water. They're not wildflowers. So they look shot brought to me. So are the flowers on Luke. Some sort of homage to his other lad. Avenge, reprisal. There's a question I hope been put to this man. Is Tommy's father? Davy Sharp. Walked out of prison nine days ago. Been off the radio ever since. Our characters were well real. Anyone except, I suppose, because under, because me, under made it kinder. Well, what was I thinking? He could count it, he could count it a blessing if I fell under a bus. But I was not, I would not go so quiet, go quietly muffled. Let me out, let me out of here. Air subs, please, I can't breathe. Bang, music's on. Muffled shouting continues, help me. Oh, Dad, this is where you were spotted on the last couple of days. Hello, Davy. What are you doing here? Your family's worried sick. It's one of Tommy's old haunts. Is it? His name was Thomas. I need to talk to you about your son's friend, Luke Armstrong. Afraid he died Tuesday, Thursday night. Murdered in their bed. What do you think of that? How did you, they kill him? A length of rope. Were you angry with Luke for your son's death? And it's all in the port. Thomas Sharp slipped and fell in the water. His best friend Luke tried to save him. He drowned anyway. Still Luke lives on. Goes on. Life goes on. Neighbor just told him, my sergeant, you have been spying on Luke's house. You never told his mum like, his mother like. You didn't want to frighten her. What are you, why, what are you following him for, Davy? What did speak, what the humans say? He tried his best, madam. Hey, don't touch that. What are you doing on Thursday night? Thursday? Anyone see you? Vouch for you? 
Hey, get your hands off that. Don't you touch that. I want, I want your use out of here. I want you out now. Get out. You're under arrest. You rest, better rest him, Joe. You should better go with a decent, you could do with a decent meal. There we go. I think it's a big ring ooze. It's blackbird. Ring number 64. Full female. There you are. Go. Cheers. Never. Oh, it's true. One year to go. It's not, it's not like it's a trade secret. Right. Oh, Lars, what do you think, Jim? It's brilliant. It's not here just any clock. you got to wind it up to the hour. Oh, Darry's idea. I see that. Tweeting. Chet Finch. Chet Finch songbird is fresh. Well, that is, well, that's it. Every hour is a different golden bird. Obscene. Just what you always wanted, Peter. It's not, it's not much. It's a paper bag. Very promising. Ah, oh, did you do this? We all took, all took half, you, we all look, we all look half your age. Where we, well, we were. It's from an old Polaroid. It's our first ever trip. Do you remember? Up in the sky. Yes, yeah, guy. Thank you, Clive. Where do we hang? It's shooing in the outdoor closet. Very funny. He's just jealous. Oh, here. Where are you sneaking off to? Nowhere. I come with you if you like. No, Gary. You stay put. Don't go too far, my love. Mum, mum, mum. It's, that's our white witness. That's our white dad. Mum, that's our white witness. James Covert. No, he's nine. One for you, I think. Lee Marsh was his teacher. What? A local school in Hepworth. She could ever teach Luke Armstrong. There is no chance. She was only free there for six weeks. Part of the training, apparently. What? What the hey? Get off. Which one of you dozy duck wipes? Duck, dick wipes came up with a brave, this brave notion. Never touch the body till the forensics get here. That's what they said. Get Biddy Carter on the phone. Now, gosh. Mm-hmm. Better? Now that is moist. Aren't you clever? Thanks. That was a stroke of luck for us. You are a lad fencing on the victim. It is no one. There's one way of putting it, I suppose. One more hour should have been swept out to sea, yeah. Mind you, the boys were going to walk up to the castle. Suppose somebody would have seen her. How is he? Just go, gone down. Really? My little boy? Is he be okay? A thing, a thing like this, though, you don't know what goes Goes in, do you? Boys of daughter, I saw how, how you know. She was there, there here yesterday. She said, never said, yeah. She heard about the beach hut. She came to the house. I was waiting to hear from her. I'm going to go and see him. Sweet how, it would be fine. I'll just be a minute, Dr. Kovat. You never met the victim. Though, for you, you ever met the victim? For your university, perhaps, a botany, rather than in the campus. I think your sergeant said she was studying for English. Well, see, what a thing. There's still time to go down to the castle. If you're done, well done here. Not really, that's not really on, is it? No, sorry. No, so to be clear, none of you ever met the victim. Huh? Gary's the lady man, be you joking. Thought I knew, knew your face. Yes, he and you were waiting outside Julie Armstrong's house. Yeah, what time did you get up here? Today? Ah, oh, it'd be about two o'clock, was it? I've been at work in the whole morning. So what? You were going to say great head, don't you? That's right. I'm just say about her boy. She's done too bright herself. That one's yours, is it, sir? Yeah. How do you know? Mind, my lads have a nose inside. No, it helps. Thursday night. What you, you spent the evening with Julie? You dropped, uh, dropped her in the taxi rank. Oh, uh, yeah, I fancied a walk. Was under the impression you had to get back to work? She was? No, no, it was a big night. I had it was a lot to take in. I just needed to clear my head. Twenty-one years of age, no kids yet. She had all the, the, the ahead of her. A waste, don't you think? She was in the water, what? A minute, minimum two hours, but she passed her last breath earlier still. When? Ten to ten thirty yesterday morning. She died elsewhere. Imagine she was drugged, see? Same as Luke. Carried out the rocks of the car, from the car park, the strong fella. But the last sighting of her was at ten thirty, yeah? The night before, leaving the crown procedure in the centre of town. What happened to her overnight? She may have been confined. Incarcerated. Any idea where? I found paint flakes under nails. Could it be the boot of a car? Land Rover couldn't say. 
Same killer, same murder weapon, or similar. Thin rope. You call those contusions around the net, victim's neck. Flowers. Those, those we could save. Heather. Fifth. Rock rose. Again, pit, not shot brought. A match, yeah. I suppose that rules out David Sharp for his poor, for this poor lad. He was with you, wasn't he? Not that I want you to tell you your job, but good for you. Somebody make, made sense of this. Somebody made sense of this. Joe, teenage boy, teenage teacher, never met. Never spoke as far as we know. Nice looking blonde. Both nice looking blonde. Don't suppose there was any, there was a, any, you know, interfering sergeant, your gentleman. No sign of sexual assault. Although I imagine the young lady was dressed up for someone. He's off in a hurry, isn't he? Now he's Julie, pretending to get a taxi. Joe, a couple of drunks. All should be ashamed of themselves. Vera laughs. Here's Gary. Money his own business. Here he comes. Well, now he's coming. So hurry. Why is he in such a hurry? Now where are you going? As far as Gary knows. He's getting on a, she's getting a taxi. How was he done that? How? Was he to know she was getting a slow bus home? He texted her twice on the way, asking not how she was, but where she was. What's this? Are you picking up on his second on leave? It was supposed to be the heads engaged. You're not even packed yet. Not the hospital? Plus, her mother in law is turning up at five with a case of her early. Lucky old you. Look at that. I think we're waving at you. Come and say hello. It doesn't bite. Another time, perhaps. I've got the mo- too much paperwork to do. And more interviews. All night, I expect. You go on, go. You make the most of your family time. I, was, I was, could spend, send them to the cinema. We've got two hours max. You think you could manage it? Pet here. What's that? For the cinema, I'll take it. You're very kind. Would you? That, but that wouldn't even buy him a popcorn. What's this got to do with Gary? Probably nothing at all. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't put faults like that into my head. He's a good man. This lass, have you ever seen her before? No. No, I haven't. Laura? Who is she? Is she familiar at all? I most forgot. This letter came here. Condolence. They addressed to your Luke. See? They got the address wrong. Did you see? 20 Albert Street instead of 20 Albert Terrace. Where did it come? It was yesterday, I think. What was it? What do you think? An innocent enough. How much rent was she paying? Eight hundred, five hundred fifty pound a month. Steep for the trainee teacher. Posh her and her town. She's moving out, was she? Not according to the plat mate. She was behind with her rent, apparently. So why the sudden urge to move into Curver's bent shut? The day before she died. Listen, not much longer. We're not finishing, we're just finishing up here. Oh, okay, head off. Enjoy your half day. Are oh, you very kind, I know. Yeah, just one or two things. He's local. It's unsealed, so there. The tree of lava. Smart ass. Same as Nick. Luke's. Two down, one who's neck, madam. I thought I knew his name. Samuel Parr, local thrifter. One of the bird watchers. Hi, is this Julie there? It's Gary's there. Julie, it's Gary. Sorry. Yeah, can't you put, uh, put her on? I just said, didn't I? She couldn't, can't, can't, can't come to phone now. Bye. Thanks, love. Thank you. Where did you write this? Shop signing. To how he, that's how he shifts box these days. So in an issue, total bollocks. Oh, the idea where there's one who loves, leaves you alone. Keep in touch, hang on. Is the outside chance she's in here somewhere? Oh, it's fan mail. Daft as it may seem. I don't know what to expect from me. Lily Marsh? Are you sure you never met her? She's not my sort at all, if that's what you're getting at. Now, how do you like your, your old women? It's a part you're surprised, these letters. You never write back, seldom even read them, to be honest, chuckles. You're not even, you're not tempted. Oh, all that devotion, my vanity is more for specific. Certain people, certain times, that's what this is with the wife. Late wife, sorry, that's okay. So, paid to snoop. Here we go, hens crackle. crackle. Laughter outside. Anything good? I get, get, get to see them fully clothed. I thought you told us they were farmers. That's what my dad said, poor sod. Probably didn't bring himself to utter the truth. Nothing, he's hated worse than being laughed at. 
Where did he go? What did, where did he do? Where did he, where did he, what, what, where did he want? Cook, clean, wash his knickers. What, what did he die? Where did he die? In a chair, I'm joking. First landing. Who bought him? Found him, nobody. Listen, you're not serious. You're wanting not to move up here? Are you? Have you been gone two minutes, six weeks? All, all it wants is just a bit of tiny up. Being a witch, come, come here. There's an evil smell. I couldn't get the bloody door open. So you want me to have a look? Well, as soon as you're here, grass per wrenches. It's too kind of bird, what to Joe. One dot gain that they their pages and it's fairly little wrist come along comes and the bird. No rare one. You see him out on the hard shoulder bins, out miles open, dead to the world. The other lot, dad's lot. Dragging me out of bed seven uh, day seven bed seven years old half asleep in the back of the car he's up in a tree stealing eggs from all, off the, of some raptor it's not even enough just to, it, it was never enough to, just to look he had to tear it apart see it worked he was a bully and maybe he was just scared scared of dying alone in a dark empty house. Do you ever get a chance to say goodbye? Didn't think goodbye would ever crown cover it. What's that? Miss Net. If you want to take the trap, my gun birds. Take it to your, to the lab. Will you? A murder weapon. Stand equipment. Still, there's no harm in asking. So, back into those, in, onto those witnesses. Peter Cover and his gun piece. It's not some pet prejudice. She's put in that rock pull to find him. For them to find. I'm sure of it. What? I'm just saying it's the first murder since your dad passed away. And it's all about bird watching. Phone rings, maybe. It is about bird watching. What? That was quick. Oh, hold on. I'll come with you. Smart girl, honey. Hard work and uh, an open mind. I was just the same when I was her age. All right. Of course you were. Miss Craven. Miss Craven, what is it? Psychopathic. Psychopathic. Well, Shovel Walker, she's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. So why dump her, Mr. Craven? Well, too much, too young. Plus, I needed to focus on my A-levels. So I pulled a plug. I tried to, to anyway. Lucy went off the deep end. There were letters, emails. She scared me half to death. She so obviously had some kind of breakdown. I think she's even here in the first spell. These corridors may be, must be teeming. The cost us, are they? Not easy, readily. Really, Friday night. Can you come for your whereabouts? Oh, Friday? Oh, I checked. They were all here, all right. Next mor- morning, weren't you, Mr. Craven? So Lily was a bro- obsessive clingy. They got it, that got to be useful. Take a look at these. What are they? Letters. Lily Marsh has some appear. I don't, can't think why. He no come, Clancy. She seems to have been seeing someone over a couple of weeks ago. An older man, okay. You get Charlie to chase up how she's paying the rent. Will you? You think he should do good, Daddy? It would make sense. Hey, have you got any ideas who he is, madam? I'm drawing up shortlist. Okay. What's Joe up to today? Simbin. Keeps it sharp. Joe rings. Phone rings, Joe. And here, there, sir. Right, cheers. Registered to Mr. and Mrs. Blakeworth. I like suspects seeing as they go back. Go, go back from Tenerife two hours ago. Prince for forensics? No, no prince. Paint fakes and a boat. Hey, Marsh, he was, he was in the boot. Not confirmed, looks like. And they found this back seat, Miss Net. Item one stolen, Lavone River, Miss Net. Personal match for weapon. Rolling out confessory. Rolling confessory of bird watchers. Lee Marsh, where are we? Where are we? Uh, the old, with the older man. There's no names and letters of bar. But she talks about him. First letter. Generous and kind, she says. Dated six months back, April 17th. Two weeks later, she's in the posh flat, Joe. Money. As between 400 600 quid. Going into account every month. Catch deposit. Before you ask, the last one was 300 pound. Six weeks ago. Six. Told him in, ends it. So try, so or tries to. We know Lily doesn't take kindly to being dumped. So what is in those letters? Any mention of Luke Armstrong? No. What about the link? What's the link? Lily and Luke. Anyone? Buddy? Daft as you like. Gay White. We've already ruled out the Land River. 
I, he loves the women. Well, who does? That doesn't. Maybe he's at it with Lily. He moves on to Julie. Lily doesn't want, want didn't, wouldn't let it go. What? So he murders her? Ever? Autumn the hawk whip bit. A bit of swirled squirrel. Nothing can pin down a particular place. No, pretty stock standard time of this year. No significance, you see. As in, well, the choice of flowers, arrangement, seems they're laid out of taste more than anything else. Taste? Yes, but vegetation. The look of a thing. Oh, I see. Can I see? You seem to art. You need to ask Felicity. She's a gold gardener. Oh, good for you. Strong marriage. These friends of yours must be je- jealous. Harley and never are forever farming her out. Okay, she reads all. So stories and dishes out of tea and sympathy. And Gary later love. Fred's go south. I bet Gary was the pick of them. Does he? He's like a work. Oh, hmm. Don't think it's half the rest of that. Look, I really must get started. Is that what you call call a house or call a full house? These days, yes. Right. He sent you alone? I just the once. Last. Let me guess. Tissues about de- issues about delegation. You know what like, thing she does? A silly kick thing? I don't fall don't fall me. A Peter fall though. He don't fall in that picture. No. Look oh, look at his eye uh, he's following me round the room. They don't they do, don't they? As if we're booking me with my idle thoughts. Chuggles, is that Clive for you? Clive, hmm, artist, stray dog, son that never was. Mind you, Gary's no better. He's a bit of a rock and roll, is he? Gary, he won them way you putting it. They both sought for three years when they showed up. What about you, Samuel Paul? Sam, Sam's a bit... What about Samuel Paul? Sam, Sam's a bit more normal. So, Detective Sergeant, can I... What can I do for you? A woman who died was interested in your beach hut. I don't know what that was. Just a mix-up, I think. I don't know that it was just a mix-up, I think. She said that Jamie's my son, had... How's he doing? He's getting there. Good, thanks. You see, this thing is that there's no evidence he planned to quit her own flat. I wonder if you thought she was ever really serious at all about moving up here. Huh? Burn especially... No, I don't. In fact, I always wonder if she was ever just, if she was ever chicken us out. Maybe she'd have round with her boyfriend or boy, flatmate. I don't know. Well, well, what's that? Well, what? She did rubbish you. Oh, just the once. She had some interesting things to say about you. Oh, Mrs. Stringer, how are you? You certainly got the wind, you got the wind up, Peter. You, Oh, cool the head, did he? Just now. I shouldn't mock, should I? Good friends, you and Kurt it. The best of felicity. Point of fact, these six months, these past months, when her mother, you see, she'd been under the same roof. Well, all my life. She's not been well, she forgets. You know, you won't go on making excuses for them. When I wake up middle of the night at 3 over 8, it was front door wide open. First on the green screen, and I finally tracked her down. Eighty-three years old. She walks up the central organization, night dress. Oh, my, oh, nightmare. First she drove me around all the houses. She gave me the courage to see. Wasn't letting anyone down. So it's just yourself now, then, is it, Mr. Stringer? Well, I've been keeping over at Peter Felicity's. We're not staying at Sam's. I find it my horror. I'm not much good at living alone. I know. It's a fair viable these days. Oh, hardly you two? Mm. You're not the faint for the faint hearted, is it? No. No, it's not. How about Gary Wright? You was not tempted to sleep on his sofa? See, is this flat? The system will take the beating. Besides, well, it's like Clapton Junction in there. Blondes, brunettes, redheads. Oh, lucky fellow. You sure you haven't seen her before? Gary didn't take her home. Before, maybe from a club or so. Don't think so. Would you tell me if he had? Are you, why are you bothering me with all this? We, we were just witnesses. How about Luke Armstrong? Now, now that one, Thomas Sharp, a waste of life. He grew up round the corner for us. Didn't think much for the family. Mmm, had the police out a couple of times on account of all the noise. But Thomas has a cunning enough. Mm. Where do you go? Wherever the wind takes me. Daily, this, uh, this anger you got is not the only way of keeping hold of him. I don't I not believe that Thomas just fell in the water. He had a father who loved him, didn't, 
Then don't. Don't think you can just fix it. I can't see straight without him. No, I know. I know that. I open my eyes. It's all black and white. Like one of these bloody pictures. Go on. I'm not eating that. It's off. Suit yourself. Mmm. Juggles. Oh, my ass! Don't fall for the big lie. These cakes will last six weeks. Hold that. You're mad, you are. Not mad and cheap. <sighs> I love those. Yeah, I told Thomas that was about, you know, about his camera. One, I mean, none of his family seem to know where it is. I hate having my photograph taken. Oh, you look so chumsy somehow. Me too, no. You look so very relaxed here. And here, Thomas, put you at your ease. Did he? I suppose. But you were close. You and Thomas, yeah. Do you miss him? Still, yeah. Your mum knew about the pair of you. No. Please, we only did it once. Please don't tell her. Hey, that my business. Never did find the camera, though. Have got it. But you know where it is. They had a fight. A fight, Thomas and your brother, yeah. The camera went in the water. And Thomas jumped in after it. So that's how he drowned, trying to save his camera. That's what Luke said. He made me swear to not to tell me, to me or he blabbed to mum. What about you and Thomas? What are you fighting about? Luke didn't, couldn't say, go on. All I know is Thomas showed me these pictures on his camera a few weeks before he drowned. There was this couple, you know. Also, he'd been peeping. Had he with his camera? Every Friday noon after noon, he's laughing. Like, you're so funny. He said, he, what? He said, did I want to come and watch? He said, it had a plan. But a laugh, he said, what kind of laugh? I don't know. Did you, and did you, you, you go with him? I'm not pervert. It's covered in the photographs. Did you recognize, did you recognize him? She's very pretty. Lee Marsh, maybe, yeah. Lee Marsh in a photograph? You sure? Well, I think so. Your mouth, her mouth, you know. What about a man with her? I never saw him before. Old or young, Aaron? Old, I don't know. The photos are all blurry. Blurry? Bindling, bell rings. Can you stop? Can you stop the, about the bus, please? Thanks. So maybe this why you are fighting the day. We're fighting the day. Thomas Diane. Well, I don't know. No, do I? I'll warn you out, haven't I? Keep thinking about it, yeah. Is it your home? Is it in your home, yeah? Keep thinking about it. If I close my eyes, all right. My daughter's right next in line, is she? Come on. Go on, pet. Come on. Nothing clean, is it? No, but everything's tainted. I hate to be you. I hate to be trapped in your skin. Oh, poison. I, I bet I need a camera. You're hardly going to find it here. It's been months. It's been halfway to by Denmark right now. It's our best link. Yet, yeah, Mary Marsh is in her pictures. Two boys, Luke and Thomas, behind the lens. Lee Marsh and older boy and man out there. Somewhere in Francisco, Fresco. Phone bell rings. Hi, Joe, it's me. Hi. Yeah, yeah, this jockey. Just checking what we're looking for. Black S-I-L-R Loom's lens. Is right? Guess what I'm looking at. Found 12 weeks ago back at Mr. Edwards. Blythe has been sat in lost property ever since. Trust me, don't you? This is the same model as Thomas. Thomas is be careful of it. Forensic want it back up, back, tipped up. What's up with you? It's Wednesday, isn't it? It's Wednesday. A date June. For the baby. Oh, I was there for Michael, but I missed Jesse. It's just nice to be around. Be, 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 be you, be you know. Be you now. By, just nice to be around by you, be you now. Clamoring goals cry. I'll tell you why it's blurry. At the other end of the zoom, no matter how firm you hold it, the image starts to shake, right? So Thomas was crouching here. Let's have a little look. Shadow clicks. Mum, she's getting, uh, going off gallivanting. But oh, my grand, I showed Lenny around. Did you get the impression that it's the first time she'd been here? How do you mean? Did it seem familiar to her? How would it be possible? How would it be, how do you know? How, how, what do you do on a Friday afternoon? So I beg your pardon. Do you have a regular appointment? Yes, I do. A teacher had moved for ivory. What? What does it matter? I need your permission to search the beach hut. I want, Everything cornered off. And I, 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 I went everything cornered off. Whole sight, of course. What about why? Why? Where is your, your husband now, Mr. Kevin? At work. I don't know. Didn't know he is. He'd left at the crack of dawn. And where, why do you know 
need to know. You think there's a small chance it's why Lady and Marsh died? Oh, come in. You're probably nothing at all, but did, did you say anything at all? You can only sh- just say it feels so stupid. Yeah, you like that? Oh, I, I heard it coming. Sometimes I just get lost in the chase. You shouldn't hear that. You should hear that at my work. You think I was raised by wolves. Here it is. Don't touch it. Clerkles, nah, sorry. So I just spend half of my life wearing these. They're very, very fetching, aren't they? When did it come? When, when did it come? This morning, I think. Some little silly prank. Did you call Laura on a mobile? It switched off. She got to go off. She's off school. All right. Yes. Well, I think, don't, f- I think so. Hmm. I got back half an hour ago. You stayed the night at school, yes. And does Laura take the bus, school bus? Aye, that's good, that's good. We just call some, make W sure. I told you the phone switched up, the phone phone switched off. No, the school. Have you got the number? All oh, right, sorry. Yeah, it's programmed on the phone. Oh, she's forgotten her inhaler. Hmm, you got another card addressed to Laura Armstrong. She's missing Joe. Doesn't turn up for school this morning. Get yourself down here. Talk to the school friends. If we're lucky, she may have taken herself off to the school shop, to the shops. Ah, oh, get Car- Carver, Carvet, in for questioning. For you and your peers have been deducted this morning. Uh, the last circumstantial witness, the fact that Linda and Marsh, an older man, had sex on the beach. Your beach hutch every Friday afternoon while your wife was away at our art club. It's a sanity. So this morning, I told you, I drove to campus. I opened up my apartments. It's a key holder. It's on the bloody register. Do you consider yourself an important man, a sister man, to covet? What well, kind of question Google you? Have been pertinence, really? Well, maybe a notable competition to British biological studies in the 80s. But no recent work. It's really regarded as consolation, consideration, consolation. Now I'm guessing bad, is it? Consolation? Ah, uh, three cheers for the only promise. Ah, uh, but all those health, empty rituals, bored, bored, skinny girls texting their boyfriends. Are they gonna just sit there? Was it sit, was it sitting on lonely? Back in the day, my client is here. His own variation, a long gums lily. Ah, uh, but you're more than flattered. Then an only man wouldn't be, okay? We're done here. We're in touch. We'll be in touch. Email and term- interview terminated at 11.05. So your second best, second day back at school. Maybe all the sight of her friends all at once. Maybe she's going to face it and thought to go for a walk. I think that's possible. Until we learn more, I think that's every chance that she gets back, she's going to wait. What you do you on duty? No excuses. You're going to find her, aren't you, Lily? You know, Julie, you remember I showed you a photograph of a young woman on Sunday and showed you, oh yes, yes. We well, believe she was having a relationship with a married man, a man, a married older man. And that your son and Tommy Sharp witnessed them and took photographs. Laura saw those photographs. Now we think the boy is approached this man, I'm sorry if it take a lot to, to take a lot to dig in. But if there's anything anything at all you know you heard, get yourself Get someone, give Julie a lift home. Were well, you sure? Don't you worry, dirty bastard, dirty little bastard. A Thomas Memorial, down by sea, I, yeah, I, he was a bright mood. Our oh, Laura turned around at him and said, You can't talk about the dead like that. But he said he wasn't talking about Thomas. He talked about some fella he put, he just met in a memorial. A man was at a memorial? That's what he said. Did you, did you see him? No. Did Luke say what man, who the man was? No. There, where is she? Bathtub, rock pool. What's next? Bodies of water, think. Where there's ponds, waterways. Get everyone onto it. Joe, officer, get down here, sir. I want somebody on those right tire tracks. Right, madam. Oh, David, I don't understand why he put, wanted to hurt Laura. I don't think he's trying to hurt her. I think he's trying to, fight, was fighting to save her. He fought, found a girl's shoe, madam, but no son of a body. Julie? Now, Julie, we want, we want just a simple eyes or no. Yes or no. Is it, is it, is my Brahms? Is my Brahms? No, no. Come on, Julie. So it's okay. It's all right, Jenny. It's all right now. It's all right now. Is she here? Come on. All right. It's all right. Come on. 
These ring bought ring bought on your credit card. Look at this. Destroyed my life. My life. Where is she? There's Laura Armstrong. Who? Okay. You leave partially. You really fell impressionally in something or another. Yes. Friday the beach hut. Yes, yes. Until the rose lost its bottom bloom and lost as she wanted the more she needed. Yes, yes, yes. Frets are pleading. Oh, don't look, Mel. She's only got a job teaching your child. Yes. You must have been terrified. Yes. Mary's not safe. That's it, that's it. That's, that, that is all there is. No, Thomas Sharp. Luke Armstrong, the two boys taking photographs of you and Lily photos. Do you swan in, in like a pair of methodists only? The money rush money. Oh, of course. Thomas drowned, sugar light. Where did, what were you thinking about? Were you to, where you were there to see me the memorial, dirty bastard? Luke called you. What memorial? I've never any memorial. You were there. Luke saw you. He spoke to you. Look at my diary. See for yourself. Madrid, a conference, 300 witnesses plus. If that's any help to you, please don't tell Felicity. You tell her yourself. Cavett wasn't the memorial. Who was? Where are those photographs? He's dead by Pipeful. Get in the car, madam. The other rings. Charlie, hello. Yeah, all right, thank you. So your pa. Still uncounted for. As for his wife, she overdosed on a bottle of pills and drowned her in bath. Look at them. The dad, the man, and the little beans. Do you think one of them could have been murdered? Lily, for Pete's sake. Yeah, if you, you were devoted, but, devoted, but Luke, Laura, why would Peter Covert want them dead? Phone beans disappearing power. Left them an even message. I'll phone you when I get back. Beep, Felicity, sweetheart, it's me. Listen, Peter's in some kind of trouble. I don't know. I keep trying your mobile. This is about, but if this is about the story, I'm sorry, it's none of my business. Just don't, don't, but just don't shut me out. I can, can't stand it when you do that. Please just call me. Beat Felicity, the loyal wife, what's the story? He carried her over the split of rocks as if she's sleeping. Is that what, what it is? It would seem fitting as he wrapped her body in a lover's brace. She'd die here, lay surrounded by, surrounded by flowers. The way he's crashed against the castle keep. Come on, when is the castle? It's an old home of my father's. They keep it in the nature's reserve. She watches mainly. My rings. Joe. Phone. Man, man, oh. Holly, we found some of Pa. He's been at his wife's grave. It's anniversary of death, apparently. Well, since his morning? The old day. Oh, what do you want us to do with him? Well, thank you for his trouble to take him home, I would. Okay, sorry. Phone, ring, phone, ring. Joe's answering device. What? Oh, I feel so really sorry. Love, right. That's your midwife. Lo, what? Your, and your wife's water just broke. Look, I mean, then she just shut up, please. Two lads fighting by the star. Lily and the man in the beach hut. Dirty bastard frame flares on the wall. The poor old is the court. I asked Charlie to get the corner. Get, get the corner and put into the drowning. He thought he might, he might slip his mind. He slipped his mind. I need that report. There must be one in the, there might be one in the back. Where? Well, stop the car. I can't pull over. Pull over. Where? There we are. Bill calls. Could in the night witness the deceased and Luke Armstrong playing peacefully ashore. She slipped and fell in the sea. But they weren't playing peacefully. Laura told me they were having a fight. But why would a witness lie about that? Pretty quick call. Um, because of that, this was a dirty bastard who went in to keep his mouth shut. Shut so long as Luke Armstrong did the same for him, huh? Well, who was he? Why who was I with this? Get, who was I with this? Get in the car. Continue beeping. You take the stairs. I'll go this way. Quiet, muffled foes. Please, just let me go. Sobs, Laura, let me go. This one never, what, this one saw, never saw you. She can't hurt you. Man, Luke. Would have told her, no, you're not looking for a bird, weren't you? Finally looking for a bird. You looked out of a glance of beach hat. Where you, they were through, and there they were, through your binoculars. Pete having sex with Lily Marsh, man. She was over her, all over him, her mouth all over him. 
on her knees, discussing her first and then Clive. Why are you lonely? Ma'am, not here, but they're for you. It was mad, incredible. I did try to tell Peter that I'd seen them, but I mean, who got the words for the loving like that? But they went back, didn't you? Again and again, how long? Weeks, months, I'm just looking. We weren't alone, were you? Two lads with a camera. Luke and Thomas had caught them, we were spying. Now Thomas had to got, had to you on camera. Didn't he? Click, click, peep and Tom. Dirty bars, Clive. Where were you? Clive, Clive, let me go. Clive, the only way Thomas looked at me. A triumph. He's going to show Peter. He's going to show the whole street. To be off with the paper round. What stopped him? Oh, the other lad. Luke, he stood up to Thomas, didn't he? Had a fight in the camera for a little water. Luke took your side, yes. I paid him back, didn't I? I didn't Chris, I lied for him. But it was like he no, couldn't go up and forgive me. But it was like he couldn't forgive me. Luke, I made him put... Luke, like I made him push his friend in the water. You should have re- heard him going on. I knew, I knew that one of these days he'd come after me. Oh, it just, it wasn't some bird of prey. It's just a lad. It's all right, Laura. It's all right. Get him, Joe, stop him. Clive, stop. No, no, chokes. No, Joe, cut the net. Cut the net. Joe, and trying, cut the net. Joe, chuckling, choking, Laura. Joe, Laura, stopping. It's all right. It's possible it might have confined can find about Laura. Clive, was that you? Like that. He was someone who couldn't let of steam, you could let of steam off to. As in, as not like, it's not like I asked him to go and out, finish her off. No, you didn't have to. Clay worth it to you. Oh please, he was started. Well, who do you think he was watching every Friday? Clive, so his own reason for wishing you were on. Yeah, Luke, I'm strong. Luke, I'm strong. John, yes, but it was your trouble, girl trouble, got him started. Just a few words from an old friend in need. It turned a murder into a noble cause, Dr. Govett. First Luke, and then Lily Marsh. Why about the whole biased, blessed memory? Crone's glasses, I hope you don't mind me asking. How did you take it? What, the wife? You and Lily? Oh, didn't seem all that surprised in the end. No, I have a feeling she'd known for quite a while. Yes, well, she's very forgiving. Oh, well, she could, should be. Those are glass houses, Dr. Corvette. What? Carl, engine starts. Oh, all right, love. Fine, fine. Yeah, fine, fine. How's it going? Hey, Joe, just in time. What's going on? I'm giving an old bugger his marching orders. Hey, Joe, this is Joe Conjurisophine. You right? Joe, you saying that in a hurry. You're actually a very nice couple. You think I'm mad, don't you? I'm moving into a big empty house. You soon fill it. Chuckles. We had a baby girl, and by the way, thanks for asking. Oh, it's brilliant. That's brilliant. Have you thought of a name yet, Francesca? You know, after the mother law? We have only? I. Oh, that's great. There's bubbles somewhere. No, no, I'm just passing. Good weight, was she? I, three, six. Of course, all the grams and kilograms these days. I say it. Oh, they only do, Imperial. Oh, Jesse was seven and a half pound. Michael was six and twelve ounces. Of course, he was a bit premature, as you know. Anyway, listen, the reason I pop round, um, don't you feel I have to say yes? I know you're not great one on the bud bands. It's just that Celine and I were wondering, have you ever give us an honour here? Does this bunny lass, is it? It's forensics. Look, take, took them off Thomas Sharp's camera. That bloody time. Caught cool. in the air. Oh, peep it. Oh, being alone. Not for the painted heart. Not for the painted heart. I even told you. Did I? It's the same place we dumped, we dumped our mother. What's that? That's ashes. It wasn't, they wasn't running, they weren't running around very, very those days. Went out for a single little tugboat. Of course I don't remember it myself like I was too young. There's a photograph somewhere. Was there some, there was something else. No, no. Enjoy your dinner.